guys, here we go. <clears throat> I'm finally going to do the finish work on this walking stick that I showed you, Carver. This is like part two of the making a spirit face walking stick. Um, I'm finally going to show you what I do after I got it all nice and sanded. I went ahead and uh, colored it in black in the eyes and the mouth to make it kind of more stand out and pop a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I put a little finish on this, a little stain and just to put a simple little clear coat on it so let's get to it alright guys here we go as you can see I went ahead and uh, colored in and painted black in this and it helps it stand out from the wood stain but I'm going ahead and apply some wood stain to this I like using uh, this type of wood stain with the dark walnut it works really good with this ash wood here a lot of other I use it pretty much dark walnut on everything uh, it covers real well, it's oil based, and I have great results with it. So I'm just going to show you how I easily I apply this with just a regular shop rag. And then <clears throat> after I do that and let that dry and wipe it back off, I'll go ahead and use this. You can get this at Walmart. I'll put two, about two coats of this matte finish on and I'll like lightly sand it between each coat. Then I'll go back and do a decent coat of this to make it nice and smooth and get a nice gloss finish. So let's get to it. I just use a regular shop rack. I use this one quite often. I just ball it up and just dip it into the stain. You can get that on there. Now, sometimes you might need a little paintbrush, and you'll go over top this the face here with the paintbrush and all that really does is just make sure you get down in every nook and cranny on this that's all you don't it's nothing too serious so there is it helps because there's a lot of grooves and stuff you got to get down in so I'm gonna round here so it's a little easier this way It's a nice brown, almost like I said, walnut, walnut color stain. Now this all I did, which I'll show you here in a later video, how I'll do my real morel mushroom walking sticks. I just took my angle grinder and I have like a uh, a sanding sandpaper disc on it, and I just basically round that off real good and take my Dremel tool back and just touch it up, and make it nice and smooth, and sand it down. That's all I'll do the, the round edges of it. This can tendency to stain your fingers and stuff, so I try to watch that a little bit, but you can always wear rubber glove. I just happen to be out of them. I need to pick some up from the store next time I go out. I guess see it so far. So that's what natural what the wood looks like. And that's what the stain on it. I'm not gonna make you guys sit there and have to, to watch the whole do the whole stain. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you how I just take a little brush and I'll go in here and do the beard and stuff, make sure I got all the crevices of that. Alright guys, <clears throat> I got the stick all Stained, I just gotta go back here and do this little detail stuff here. Just take a simple little cheap brush, nothing too fancy.
a little history on this is ash <clears throat> and a lot of these little worm holes you see on this is natural bug carvings and it's from an emerald ash beetle and that's the reason why we're losing all our ash trees here especially in the United States um, it goes in there and eats all the sapwood which is what mainly feeds the tree and when it eats all the sapwood aren't the bark the tree begins to die and it'll slowly die we have several of these over a farm that died but we're utilizing it for firewood some saw material and like I said I'm using it for some of my carvings and why not so see that basically all that is and the next step would be to take this like I said earlier do two coats of this sand in between each coat and the last last coat do a good coat of this and let it dry and it should be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe this down get all this extra excess off and then I'll get it set up here and I'll show you guys uh, some spraying of this. Alright guys, here we go. Starting with the, the matte clear first. You can see the sticker, not this is the sticker, just stained here. It's the Spirit Face sticker. Getting ready to be able to ship out for the customer either by Saturday or Monday. So. Make sure the stuff gets shook up really well. This is a fast drying rust oleum. Works great. I've been using this for several months now on a lot of different projects to leave them really nice finish. So, that's that on that. You gotta let this dry. Usually it only takes, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes worth of dry. And then, like I said, I'll do a light roll low grit sanding on it. And it kind of just makes it for a better smooth surface. Um, really speaking, I usually do two coats of this. Um, but, sometimes I need one. It depends on how much uh, it absorbs it. So, we'll get back to you here in about 15 minutes. And hopefully it ain't too dark by then. I got a little late to start on the day on this, but uh, I'll show you the next step of putting a gloss finish on. All right, guys. <clears throat> it's already been about 20 minutes or so. It was actually dry here about 15, about 10 minutes, 10, maybe 15 minutes maximum. Um, I did another, I did sand it and did another light um, matte finish coat on it. There's two coats of that on there, which should be plenty for that. <clears throat> the reason why I do that is it's kind of a waste to go ahead and uh, use this gloss and do several coats of this gloss on it. You can do two, cat, two coats of matte and replace it and then do one final coat of gloss. So I'm going to go ahead, I already shook this up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put this gloss coat on and this walking stick, you can call it done. So let's get to it. should be all sure right for that so um, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
Hold on one second. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this dry, and then I'll go back and I'll show you some uh, uh, video or some photos of the finished product, of course. So we'll let the dry. Should take about 15 minutes for that. Alrighty, guys, back in the shelf. I got darker on me before it got dried. Um, it's done. Um, I'm quite happy with it. It's got a nice clear coat on it. It's got a nice uh, chocolatey brown. Uh, dark walnut color. Like I said, it's a piece of ash, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. I think the customer's going to be quite happy with it, so I'll be sending it out to him um, Saturday, no later than Monday morning. But I'm looking forward to his response when he gets it. <laughs> I always love when they get when they get the products and give me a good response. So um, I hope this guy's help you out for some of your projects. And uh, hey, you know, drop me. A comment give me a thumbs up thumbs down please share this video and please please subscribe everything will help out and just you know just leave me a comment give me something good feedback give me something bad feedback I'll respond to anything um, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, the, at the end of the video I'll have some close-up pictures of this so you can get to see a little bit more closer detail later guys